Yeah, hi guys, welcome back to Marathon CrossFit here and this week I got four sessions in. So um, going, getting back to my old routine of four to five sessions a week after traveling a lot in September for work. Um, also the deadlift is progressing as I wanted to. So it's 162 and a half kgs for the deadlift by five. Um, so overall, I like the Texas mes the method. It's currently working for me. And this week, I also got some K-band training uh, uh, back in and some TRX training back in uh, just for explosive explosiveness and also that I can move, um, you know, quite freely because what I found is if you really only do the three big lifts like power lifters do, you can get rather stiff. So I tried to mix in some other stuff. So um, here you see a back squat 130 kg unbelted. Um, that is also going in the right direction and that I personally think was the best set of the week because it had depth, it had no belt on and it's 130 kg which would have been a weight about a half a year ago that I would have struggled with really really hard and here I'm getting out five repetitions that are clean in my personal perspective I mean you can still debate uh, my heels coming off the ground. Yes, still something I have to work on. At least I'm aware of it um, But that was a good set and uh, Then I also tried to establish uh, a new five rep max at 160 kg um, Still failed on that. That was a pity so but we'll get to that a little a little, late, a little later so here we have 117 and a half for the uh, bench press. What's also quite interesting fact is um, I actually have the lowest um, uh, percentage of body fat around my triceps and around my arms. So um, yeah, so the less fatty bits for, uh, for me are the arms, um, that which is not always the case for people, but for me it is. Maybe that correlates somehow with my bench press actually being a lot better than my back squat and the deadlift. Maybe not. I don't know, but just an interesting fact for you, or maybe not so interesting. You know, depending on where uh, where your head is at and whether you want to hit the like or dislike button. Um, but anyway, apart from that, um, here we have the 160 by four. And you see their half squats and struggling now quite a bit at the 160 kg mark. I don't know why, um, but but I just have to work through that plateau because actually the recovery um, reps, like the recovery sets, they are progressing. Like when I started Texas Method, I would have done the recovery day without a belt at 120. Now I easily do it at 130. So I don't know what's going on there with the 160, but still I didn't want to leave it at only four reps so I wanted to get the fifth in and really do a clean one and I think I've established that um, so um, because here I tried to go as low as possible and um, that was at least a lot lot deeper than the other ones beforehand still not an as to as to grass uh, kind of squad and I was hanging in there for another one but was then like okay fuck it and uh, then overhead press as many repetitions as possible with 75 kg um, as it was one of the Texas method weeks where the overhead press is the one that uh, gets more emphasis than uh, the bench press then some speed benching to round up the week and some box squats which you see here so I'm trying new things out with the safety bar I haven't done a lot of work with the safety bar so I hope you like the content and please subscribe please tell your friends and I hope you learned something to take away from this bye bye